Hey, it's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. Welcome to Frugal Fridays. So this is a meal that we make often because it's cheap. It goes a long way. You can throw some rice and beans and we're set. But what I like about it too is it's early in the day to me and I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator and when I'm ready to cook tonight, I'm going to pull it out and put it in the oven to bake. So today we're making chicken enchiladas. I like this too because there's variations that you can mix up and change to make it spicier, to change the meat in it. To, so I'm going to try to give you all the options. So let's get started. First thing that I did is I keep, you can see it right here, um, I keep a pan of oil. It's just vegetable oil always in my oven. Um, we pull it out and we fry stuff in all the time. Just it, I don't, not all the time, not like we're fryers, but uh, we do a lot of tortillas, and so we always kind of have that there. So I heated that up, um, and I cooked, I think it's like 14-ish tortillas. What I did is I fry them up so that this edge gets just a little bit crunchy, but not really, and they're still totally pliable. What that's going to do is when we make our enchiladas, it's not going to become one big blob. It's going to help them stay like little individual enchiladas, which is kind of the goal. You want to make enchilada casserole? I'll explain that one too, because sometimes it's easier. Um, but either way, you're going to fry your tortillas in a little bit of oil. And you, they're still warm, but they're, they're chilling. You need cheese. I don't hate grating cheese, but we don't use bag cheese. We only use blocks of cheese, like the real blocks. Um, the other ones have additives and then we're just all about keeping it simple. So we grate cheese and we have like the metal cheese grater like this that everybody has. Um, I hate these. I grate my knuckles and my fingers more than I grate cheese on these things. Can't stand them. So my son for Christmas asked for a cheese grater for when he moves out. He wanted this rotary cheese grater and I was like, bro. I will buy the rotor cheese grater, but that's the stupidest thing I have ever heard of. Well, then I decided, you know what? I'm not, my husband is a cheese grater because I always cut my knuckles, so he just does it. Well, then I bought him one kind of as a joke, but this thing is awesome. So now everybody grates cheese. But I wanted to show you, I just cut big blocks of it, and um, it just has a rotary handle on the back. The only trick to it is you kind of have to stop after so much so that this doesn't get clogged up. And then uh, you just keep grating. So don't buy bag cheese, buy blocks. And uh, I think this was, it was under 20 bucks. I'll link it below. They have it in different colors. I got white because it's simple, but they had red. My son got red. Um, but it grates cheese so quickly. So weird little, I'm um, kind of a kitchen hoarder. I love gadgets. So this was one that I didn't know I needed and I love it. I thought I would show you that. So we have our cheese. Um, I did mozzarella and cheddar just because it's what I had in the fridge. You want to do jack cheese, you want to do pepper jack and make it spicy. You want to, I don't care. You do whatever you want to do. It's about a pound of cheese that we've got there, which we had telling you, like, grate your own. It puffs up magically and it doesn't have that weird coating on it. So I have that to the side, plus I have cheese everywhere. Now here's my other Frugal Friday trick. So I know a lot of, like, grocery stores do this, but, um, we we live really close to a Walmart. Walmart pre-bakes their chickens. And has them like in the little cart and you can buy them or whatever. Well, if they don't sell, they stick them in the deli section over by like the lunch meats and stuff. And they sell them for three bucks. So if I ever see them, typically I will grab a chicken when I find them on sale. I shred it, put it in a Ziploc and I freeze it so that I have it when I want to do meals. And you have an entire meal for $3 for all the chicken. And... I save the bones and the skin and everything. Anytime I have leftover carrots or celery or onion skins or anything like that, I keep a bag in my freezer to make chicken stock. So it's like a two for one. So we have our chicken, our cheese, our tortillas. I also I have more cheese here, but I don't think we're going to need it. Um, this can be green sauce or red sauce. Uh, your choice. Uh, we use, what is this? Las Palmas green sauce. It's a medium, that one. Uh, sometimes we do red sauce. The Walmart brand is just fine. Um, and we even have like, my husband makes an incredible green sauce. Um, it's like a bear day from tomatoes from the garden and stuff. It's a little too spicy for my youngest. So if he's not going to eat it, I'll use that. But otherwise we just grab this a couple bucks. 
I should have said about the chicken, you can use canned potato and season it with a little taco seasoning, fry it up, and then pop that in instead of chicken. If you have like leftover shredded pork, chicken, potatoes, you want to just do cheese, you can do cheese. We've done grilled veggies. Do like we have leftover grilled veggies, we'll throw some cheese in and make veggie enchiladas. Really, that's what I like about this one is you can make it completely different based on kind of what you have. So there it is. I have a 9 by 13 glass pan. The first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of our enchilada sauce. I'm going to put it at the bottom of our pan and use it kind of like you would like a cooking spray or oil so that nothing sticks to the bottom. And I'm just going to tip it around a little bit. I have been canning pineapple and doing a million projects today. And so I thought while I'm in the kitchen, before I move on to what my next step is for the day, which I don't even know what it's going to be, I'm going to make these. I'm going to pop them into the refrigerator so that when we go to cook dinner tonight, it's really easy. So I have our, I'm going to move my cheese to the side. Well, the last thing we have are olives, by the way. We had, we made a salad. I have a couple left. We like to put these on the toothpicks. Some of my kids eat them. Some of them don't. So I'll just plug in on a couple of them. So here we go. Super easy. Hopefully you can see it. You have a tortilla. I take a little bit of the shredded chicken. I will pull it apart a little bit farther than what it is currently. When I pull it off the chicken originally, I just kind of leave it pretty big because I never know what I'm going to do with it. We do a tortilla soup with this chicken. We do enchiladas with the chicken. We'll throw it into salad. I throw it in the food processor with a little bit of mayonnaise, onion, and craisins and make a chicken salad. So the possibilities are kind of endless with it. I have some toothpicks because, like I said, you got to keep them closed. So I'm just going to grab a little handful of our cheese, and then I kind of fold it from the back forward, halfway, kind of pull back a little bit to tighten it, and then one of my toothpicks and pin it closed. So you end up with your enchilada. And I'm going to just put it in the pan with the toothpick facing up. We're going to do this till we run out or fill the pan. Or Uh-oh, see, now you can tell. Good thing I shredded it because there's a chicken bone in there. How you know that um, it's real chicken? You can do canned chicken or you know whatever, but I just like three dollars for an entire chicken is a pretty killer deal. And what I'll do is um, I'm just gonna keep making this while I chit chat. Um, what I do is like I said, I throw a Ziploc in the freezer, a gallon Ziploc, and anytime we have chicken extras or veggies that are gonna go bad that I can use in a chicken stock, I throw them in there, and then I'll make a big batch of chicken stock and can it. I have to be really careful when I do it because the smell of chicken stock isn't exactly the most appetizing um, smell when you smell it for like as long as you have to cook it. So I try to do it outside on the porch. So I try to do it when the weather is either, I don't want to do it when it's raining. I don't want to be hanging on the porch. So um, I try to do it when it's a nice day. I don't mind being out there. And then I get it all in my jars and everything outside so that when I come in to can it, it's the smell is contained because it just, it just smells like chicken. It's not gross or anything. It's just, it makes you not want to eat chicken stock for a little bit when you smell it for that long. I don't know. It's like, I used to work next to a restaurant and I didn't mind the food from the restaurant, but when you smell it all day long, every single day, the last thing you want to do is eat from that restaurant. So, you know. So this is it, people. You're just going to go till you run out of tortillas. And like I said, if you want to, so there's our, they're just lining up in there. Um, you want to throw a cup of olives on there. We, you can use olives kind of like a place marker. Um, if you want to throw jalapenos in one of them or, you know, something different. If you want to do cheese and chicken in the same, you can do olives on some of them to know that which one's which. But like I said, some of my kids don't like them. Then one of my kids loves them. So that one will steal all of the um, olives from all the other people. <laughs> We're going to double fist right now and do two at the same time. All right. We'll see. So frugal Fridays. I'm trying to come up with some stuff that's a little bit different. Um, my goal is like, I can't do a $3 meal um, with from scratch ingredients, but I do my best to keep them low cost. So that's why I do $3 chicken. It has a little piece of skin I'm going to get rid of. Uh, $3 chicken. I got the cheese on sale. Tortillas are cheap. I will, by the way, I have tried making my own tortillas. And they were good. 
But the work it takes to make a homemade tortilla, they were, I mean, they were just not worth it to me. That's just me. Maybe it's because we just eat a lot of tortillas. I have everything to do it. And I even bought this stuff because I got a, gr a, a wheat grinder for Christmas. Unfortunately, I haven't really taken the time to get to know it. I'm a little bit intimidated to use it. Eventually, I will. But um, it's I've used it here and there. But I bought everything to make corn tortillas from scratch. I even bought like the, I can't even remember what you have to put, soak the corn in to make your own hominy and blah, 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 all this stuff, right? So I got all that stuff and it's sitting in the pantry because I haven't actually done it yet. But, you know, one of these days I'll get brave. But it's all good. So with this meal, I, uh, we, I'll have to show you guys sometime. We make a big old crock pot of pinto beans or black beans or whatever beans I have dried that I need to kind of use up because I like to store them for long term, but then I don't want them to sit there for long term. I like to rotate them out. And so I make big crock pots um, with a pound of beans. And then whatever is left over after we have pinto beans, I will um, make into refried beans. And we either will, I'm out of toothpicks, um, we'll either freeze them. So right now I have some beans defrosting in the sink in a Ziploc. So we either freeze them like that or um, there's one toothpick left. Or I have canned them. Um, I have that going too, but we go through a lot of beans. So anyways. Oh, and rice. We'll do the Herdez rice that I also have on the channel. Now, one of you guys, I think I've said this before, said to use chicken stock or chicken bullion when I make our rice. We've made this rice for like my entire life. We added chicken bouillon onto it, and now my kids always ask, oh, did you add the chicken bouillon onto it? Because it's just so much better with it. So thank you to, I can't remember your name. Thank you for that recommendation because it did change our rice for the better. So shout out. Okay. So here's our last one. You can hear my husband in the other room. He got, he got elevated over talking to somebody on the phone. So. <laughs> okay. Whoop. Our last one tore apart. Hold on, we'll fix it. So anyways, we like to do as much as we can from scratch, but tortillas is not one of our things. Okay, so there we have our lined up um, enchiladas. All I'm gonna do is take this can of enchilada sauce and kind of pour it over everything. Now, I don't like to add too much because that also will cause it to become kind of a gloppy mess. When you go to take it apart, but I like to get them all saturated. So kind of like that. It leaves you maybe a half a cup in that big old. So there's our enchiladas. If you have leftover cheese you want to use up, go for it. Sprinkle some on top. I am going to just do what I knew my hand touched with the chicken. And then I'm going to put the rest of it in the fridge. Like I said, olives if you want. Let me dump them on this paper towel because they got kind of wet. Um, good place marker so you can see that each inch of water now when I mark them. If I can find each one. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is put these in the refrigerator. I'll pull them out a couple minutes before we're ready to eat. You can put them straight into the oven cold though too. And you want to bake them basically until they're bubbly and like the cheese is melted. It's like 45 minutes or so um, to bake it. Everything in here is basically cooked because the chicken is cooked. So you're just trying to get them warm through and bubbly. So about 40, 45 minutes at about 350 degrees. Like I said, serve it with whatever you want. Change the fillings if you want to do potato, if you want to do chicken, if you want to do shredded beef, ground beef, just cheese. I think in total, and this, what I like about this meal too, is it's going to feed us for dinner. And there is definitely going to be leftovers for my husband and I for lunch. And it used up some like rando stuff that we needed to, to get rid of in the freezers and pantries and stuff like that. So that is our frugal, frugal Friday meal for the week. I would say in total, this is like three, the cheese we got on sale. So that's like maybe two bucks. This is under $2 for seven. It wasn't a full bag of tortillas. It's like maybe half. So it's like a buck. So you're under $10 to make the whole tray. But Go make yourself some enchiladas. Your family's gonna love them. Oh, for toppings. I am a sour cream fan. We happen to have company in town, and so we bought like the vat of sour cream. We didn't make it through it. So 
I'm gonna, it's my personal goal to get through the rest of that tub. My husband will do a little bit of sour cream, but not so much. So, um, and then if you wanna add hot sauces, by all means, you can do that too. So, like I said, I'm gonna cover this for now. I'm gonna uncover it before we're ready to eat it. Pop it in the oven 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. And there is your frugal Friday, well, hard to say, meal for this week. If you guys have any um, recommendations for Frugal Friday videos, let me know. I have a few up my sleeve. I think the next week's is going to be shepherd pie because I know some of you guys have asked for that and we're actually making it this week for dinner, so I'll make it for next week. And that's another one that's pretty um, frugal and really good. As it warms up, we won't eat it as much. But anyways, rant over. Go make enchiladas. And thank you so much for always watching, you guys. We appreciate you. If you have any questions for us, non-food related or food related or anything like that, I'm trying to get my husband back in a video. He's just been crazy busy at work and stuff again. So I'm trying to get him back in a video. He's got a scallop potato recipe I'm trying to get him to make for you guys. But And then if you want to get this crazy rotary cheese grater that I'm obsessed with, I will link down below. But thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. As always, have a fantastic weekend and happy Friday. Dang clicker! There we go. <laughs>